My studio desk feels really smooth again. Different places, different worlds, nothing left, just empty words. I went this morning for a quick run, feeling all good. Got my laptop and my skateboard, so time to head to the studio. Back for breath, barely touch, nothing ever is enough. I want something solid. But you know what? First of all, I really need a haircut. That looks like a good offer. Looks a lot better than before. These speed bumps are dangerous. I'm so happy I made it alive into the studio. There were like six little girls, maybe 12 years old. They thought I'm a really famous YouTuber. They chased me down on my board for an entire block. This was really scary. So being a YouTuber seems to be a really tough job. Luckily I'm just making music here in my studio. It was fun though, but I don't know, weird. So the first task for today is working on my shadows track again. It's all done actually, but it's going to be released as the next single. So I want to go back into the project, change two or three last things and then bounce out the pre-master. I want something solid, another doubt of promise. Okay, it's all done, all perfect. I didn't really change anything about it. I just double and triple checked that everything is where it belongs. Now just bouncing it out with 4 dB of headroom and then the pre-mastering is done. I have always all of the tracks that I'm working on on my desktop and every time I finish the track I make a folder, drag into it the logic file as well as the pre-master and uh, later then the master and then I move it into my final tracks folder with all of the tracks that I finished in 2016. I don't know why but it's the most satisfying feeling this really means the track is finished I won't be working on it anymore and it's it just makes me happy. I really need to clean up this table here it is all filthy and has spots on it luckily this table is made out of wood so so using sandpaper is probably the best way to clean it yeah it's now as good as new a lot of people have been asking me about this desk so let me show you really quick how i build it it's nothing too complicated. I always wanted to have one of these fancy studio desks, but they're extremely expensive and I don't have any equipment that needs to go into a rack. So I just built this on my own and I built everything around this keyboard. It is really heavy. It weighs more than 25 kilos. So having a desk and the keyboard underneath to drag it out wasn't a possibility. The desk would just fall to the front if you add 25 kilos that you even move out. So I came up with something different. I left the inside of the desk hollow for a couple of reasons. By leaving out this middle part, I have a bit more room for my knees and I get the keyboard into the perfect height where I have a right angle with the keyboard, but still also have a nice angle when I close it off and I'm working with the trackpad and the computer keyboard. This of course also saved me a little bit of money and I don't have a box that is closed off and could resonate frequencies that are coming from the speakers. To build this thing I've just used the frame and the legs from an old IKEA desk. This piece of wood is screwed to the steel frame and to the legs. These two are screwed to the bottom one. This one is a little bit shorter than the other so that the top plate is resting on it and having the same height as the one at the outside. Same thing on the other side. This piece is securing both sides. This one is just resting on these and you can just pull it and if you pull it even a bit more it opens up and you have access to all of the cables. Building this took maybe half of a day and the material cost just for the wood were around 200 euros. The steel frame from the IKEA desk I don't really remember but I think they're around 70 euros. So for less than 300 euros you can have something like that and make it really individual or cut in holes for cables whatever you like. Now back to business. 
I need to print a contract for the singer and songwriter of the Shadows track. Whenever you release a track with a vocalist, you will need a release of artist rights contract. You just fill out the artist information, the producer information, the titles, then here is a lot of blah blah blah, and at the end you put in the fee. Usually the fee is percentage based, depending on the involvement of the singer and songwriter, or you just pay a flat out fee, it really depends on you and the singer and songwriter. Since this track is now all done, it's time to start with the next one. But before getting into making new song ideas, I want to send out two of my instrumentals that are left over to a singer and songwriter and just leave them the choice to pick one of the two and then go from there. created two really nice drum loops and played a little bit of electronic guitar. Not sure about it, but we will see in the next couple of days. Now it's definitely time to head back home. It's getting dark outside and being outside while it's dark with the skateboard isn't always the best idea. I hope it's not too cold outside. It's the phantom of a court ship, fading days on my lips. Come and come and go, so I can see you right almost back at home tonight. I really need to finish my new mixtape. Vanessa had today another free day. She spent it shopping with her sister. So it's guaranteed I will get a little fashion show. That's how bad the parking situation got here. It's terrible. Can't even pass here. And not there. So trying it here. In more than the shadow of you. 